The investor worth millions of dollars has entered the 2K community. And that means from now until the end of 2K20, you are about to see some of the biggest amounts wagered ever on video games because this investor is worth millions and he is willing to put up thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on the best comp teams to play against guys like me. So wagers have been a massive thing in NBA 2K from the very beginning pretty much since as soon as NBA 2K became a big game on the YouTube front, wages between creators have been something that's always been there. These were mainly in the My Team game mode initially, until 2K17 where 2K banned pretty much everyone who wagered and a lot of the largest content creators in the world ended up getting banned for winning or losing wager matches. And after that, wagers mainly ended up happening between Park YouTubers. This is around the time where Park began to overtake my team in terms of the amount of relevance and views on YouTube. However, it's actually somehow going back the other way. But the guy who was the face of this was Ty Sino. Ty Sino was a YouTuber who already had quite a large following. He was from New Zealand. However, in the summer of 2019, he decided to fly over to America and wager pretty much all of the biggest US-based Park YouTubers in a series over a couple of weeks, which absolutely exploded on both Twitch and YouTube. Coming into NBA 2K20, he continued his success and continued to wager. However, it was a perfect storm. Once the pandemic happened, there were more viewers than ever before, and one person took advantage of all of this. A guy named Step Back Rack came into the NBA 2K community and claimed to be a multi-million dollar investor, contacted some of the biggest content creators, and offered to sponsor some of the biggest wagers we had ever seen. We saw $10,000 wagers from Ticino. We saw Bronny and Aiden Ross playing for $25,000 each, which was something we had never heard of. All off the back of, to be honest, this guy's word more than anything. So initially, this guy was paying up. He was developing connections in the community. He was actually giving out his money. But this was all for pretty much just to gain trust. It was to gain trust in the 2K community. And while, yeah, he lost a couple of thousand by sponsoring these uh, wagers, in the end, it was all part of an elaborate scheme to scam the 2K community out of a hell of a lot more money than he was putting up. And after developing some trust, he then ended up recruiting a guy named Rangy to be basically his middleman, a link between the 2K community and him, which allowed Step Back Rack to, well, basically perform some of his scams. But I'm going too far ahead. Let's go back to the wager stages when he was still developing his trust. While the wagers for, with Ticino and the likes of Bronny, Aiden Ross, Annoying, ended up getting in major, major traction. I ended up giving Step Back Rack at the time a positive name. He was also sponsoring some smaller streamers and creators' wagers, obviously with a lot less money. He then began to stream a little bit himself, as well as that, started basically sponsoring some streamers to shout him out for a little bit of cash. So while publicly things seemed to be going well, behind the scenes he was using Rangy to basically get people involved in what was going to end up being the biggest scam in the history of 2K. For lack of a better way of describing it, he managed to convince a plenty of people in the community that Step Back Rack could perform some sort of IRL duplication glitch with money. That, and people believed, due to the amount of trust that people had in Step Back Rack, and people believed that he was a millionaire and not just a scammer. Rangy convinced so many people to give money to Step Back Rack. What ended up happening was they would give a small amount of money and he would give double back until these guys were pouring their life savings towards him and then eventually he ran off with the money. He did this to so many people accumulating over $200,000 and on September the 17th it all got exposed. There were a few days of people still somewhat convinced, not convinced he was a scammer but on the 20th this thread came out. I got scammed with thousands of dollars by Rangy and Step Back Rack, was pressured into it. I saw and heard of friends and mutuals of people that were getting money. Ultimately, their goal was to pay those people first few times so they invest as much money as possible, as we've explained. They're, they're teenagers, realistically still kids that have been scammed in thousands, at least 300,000. I think it was confirmed around 200,000. And also, it says here that he basically only went and did it because Rangy vouched so strongly for him. 
and other people were getting money that people threw in more money and that's how the scam was to work the scam was step back rack was to was going into the community was gaining trust and getting people to put as much money as they could give as much money as they could to him he would keep them kind of happy keep giving them returns and as soon as they gave him enough money that he felt like he could run with it he ran and it was then found out from a thread with Ticino that on top of this he actually hadn't even paid back everyone in wagers he was accusing Ticino of not paying up so he was basically stringing people along as long as possible and basically going off the trust that he had built from those first couple of weeks in the community in the end he owed like aiden ross twenty thousand, annoying thirty eight thousand dollars and in terms of unpaid wagers there was the best part of 100k you add that on top of obviously the unpaid wages is awful but it's not quite as bad as the scamming innocent people out of their money the unpaid wages in the end were just clickbait more than anything but at the same time it just became a crazy crazy situation and a scamming situation that so many people didn't even realize what was going on because they were making money some people were making money out of the situation those people that were making money out of the situation were basically recruiting more people into this into well i wouldn't even call it a pyramid scheme it was just kind of get as much money as possible and then run with it all but these guys were recruiting more people into it because they were making money and seeing how others were making money out of it as well and they were probably offered a bit of commission i know rangy was he was offered money in or for however many people he got in but uh yeah just a crazy crazy situation and in the end everyone who offered mate well who gave put in major money ended up losing all of it up until these threads step back rack had been trying to save face over the previous three days he confirmed to everyone that they were going to get back their money he was trying to convince people to post tweets saying that these guys weren't scammers and i think maybe just maybe it was to try see how long he could last see if he could get any more people to give him money but on the 20th of february step back rack ended up vanishing step back rack used ticino step back rack used annoying aiden ross and he used basically a booming game mode in order to well get some legitimacy to form a complete scam this is a situation where i don't think is ever going to happen again in the ter in terms of my team but i will say it the next time wagers are booming again there's going to be another opportunist thankfully i highly highly doubt that ticino who's still going to be on top of the wagers will believe the next time somebody says they're a multi-millionaire but it's a situation where back even in 2020 i think everyone would have done the exact same thing and taken step back racks money especially when at the end of the day it's content content is content it's getting millions and millions of views the game is booming you're booming as well as getting crazy life-changing amounts of money on the side to play a video game i mean i've heard people try to say okay these creators shouldn't have done it at the same time we all would have done it especially because at the time step back rack had shown no signs that he was going to scam obviously hindsight is 2020 but at that time initially when he was developing his trust he was paying he was putting he was the reason for some of the biggest videos of that year it's just unfortunate that rather than being a millionaire investor he was in fact a scammer who just used that for trust obviously obviously hindsight is 2020 we can look back at it now and look at all the signs and thinking they were obvious i don't think anyone until september the 17th questioned a single thing about this guy so anyway yeah that is the video the biggest scam in the history of 2k by one step back rack who i'm not entirely sure of the um legitimacy of it so i'm not gonna talk about in this video but as far as i'm aware from what we've seen on twitter the guy has been scamming for years There's people on his personal facebook saying he scammed them and yeah it's just not a good look for him and hopefully something we never see again so anyway, that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe